The crime scene was a bloody mess. Neymar laid on the ground, twisted and contorting in pain. The flashy dribbler had taken hits, but none like this before. It's my job to find out who did it, and I only have one clue. It's the most red-carded player in history, and it's not Sergio Ramos. Seeing a player like Neymar in such pain made me sick to my stomach. The Brazilian looked like that time Messi was trapped in a training bib. Disgusting. And while the paramedics were putting him on a stretcher, I got to ask him the question, who, Ney, who? He was clear, the dirtiest player ever. So it is Sergio Ramos. No, there is another one. I was as confused as you are right now. The investigation had only just begun. When I think about dirty players, the second name that comes to mind is Vinnie Jones. Tough as nails, the now actor used to be a footballer. If you ask me, he was more of a butcher. Jones holds the record for the quickest booking ever. In an FA Cup tie in 1992, he was brandished with a yellow after just three seconds. He was nasty. Heck, his on-screen characters such as Big Chris or Bullet Tooth Tony from Snatch look mild in comparison to what he pulled off with the crazy gang at Wimbledon. But no, Vinnie Jones only has 12 red cards in his career, making him 10th in the all-timers list. And 9th is Mauricio Pochettino. PSG's coach became a footballer after practicing judo as a child. Does he have the perfect motive to do it? Poch might be angry at Ney for missing so many matches through injury, so I can't see how injuring him more would benefit his side. Besides, the Argentinian retired from football with 13 red cards. And the next one on the list is a true killer. We're talking about Felipe Melo. You might think that Melo's out of the game nowadays, but you'd be wrong. The midfielder who wore shirts of Juventus, Inter, and Galatasaray is still playing in Brazil. He's even lifted the Copa Libertadores twice. But the real shocker is, he seems to have corrected his ways. Melo, who's been sent off 14 times, has barely been booked in 2021 and hasn't seen a red since 2019. Maybe he found God. All I know is he didn't maim Neymar. Besides, Ney spends most of his on-pitch time in Ligue 1. And there's one name that fits the bill, Yannick Kahusik. A 37-year-old French defensive midfielder, Kahusik had been away from the spotlight playing in League 2 with Lens. But now they are back, and the blood trail follows him. Having already seen red this season against Bordeaux, Kahusik has 18 red cards to his name. And in the 2016-2017 season, he earned himself three reds in four games. How did he get away with that? However, in the Lance game against BSG earlier this season, Kahuzik played for just 10 minutes, and Neymar wasn't even in the squad. Kahuzik is off my list. But while I was checking him, I got a tip from the city of Sevilla. Pablo Alfaro was a tough defender from back in the day. Many say he inspired Sergio Ramos' aggressive game. Alfaro, in fact, is the second most red-carded player in the history of La Liga, with 18. But he stopped playing altogether in 2005 four years before Neymar made his official debut for Santos in 2009. Well, that's also the perfect alibi for the most red-carded player in Serie A history, Paolo Montero. Don't know him? The mere mention of his name sends chills down the spine of most talented attackers of the 90s. And Serie A had the best ones at the time. And Montero went a bit too hard on them 16 times. Ryan Giggs once called Uruguayan Montero and his teammate Ferrara the toughest defenders he ever faced. Another crook worth looking at is Alexis Roano, a Spanish defender who saw red 22 times and was booked 130 times as well. Alexis, too, was accused of match-fixing during his spell with Turkish side Besiktas. Roano disappeared from the face of the earth after his contract with Racing Santander expired. He can't be the one. And the same goes for French Cyril Rule. Mon Dieu! What an assassin he was. 30 red cards and 187 yellow cards. Rule hung up his knives, I mean boots, in 2010. And since, he's picked up paddle, so watch out for him in the courts. There are two names left on my list, and one has been pointed out by our victim as innocent. Anyone could understand why Ramos might be the number one suspect. The Spanish legend is synonymous with violence on the pitch. He's been sent off 27 times so far, 
and holds both the La Liga and Champions League record. He could have easily mistaken Ney in training after years of facing each other in El Clasico, but no. If Sergio ever gets confused, my money's on Leo Messi as his first victim. I was really hoping that Ney's assassin wouldn't be this guy. You might not know him as he never left South America, but this man is the coldest hitman in the game. I'm talking about the Colombian menace, Gerardo Medocha. Medocha was once sent off in a Colombian derby for elbowing a rival in the head. While he was waiting for the ref to show him the red, he took the chance to further kick the fallen rival on the head. A 15-match suspension was in order. That was his 41st career red card. And he didn't stop there. He eventually broke the international record by receiving 46 red cards in total. That's almost double Sergio Ramos's tally. When he retired, he went into coaching. And on his first match as an assistant manager, he was sent off too. Old habits die hard, and good footballers get slayed by Badosha. The case is solved. And if you think I'm the one going after Badosha, you're out of your goddamn mind. In the mood for blood? Here's a video we made on the six dirtiest teams ever, from Atletico Madrid to Argentina.